Coach Wilson, you talked last week during the bye week about uh, giving your players a bit of rest, now cranking things back up in game week and preparations for Wake Forest coming up on Saturday. What's the big emphasis to your team this week? Well, again, uh, you know, we, we, we coming through the preseason, the first couple games, uh, the open date was early. Used to recruit recruiting, used to get our team a little fresh, but we need a lot of fundamental work. So we came back Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, uh, Friday was a very hard practice because we didn't play a game. Got a little bit more done on Monday than normal. So we've had some still kind of what I'd almost call early season practices where, you know, later in the year you start tapering back. So we're still trying to build ways coming in, playing really good defense. Uh, they're running the ball well, they're kicking it well. So we're going to have to be better in all three phases. We've had kicking blunders. Our defense has showed improvement, still not what it needs to be. Our offense has been on sync. So we've just tried to push every position, every coach, uh, every every player to keep playing harder and to keep doing better. We expect, you know, our, our, our we're, this school deserves a good team and it's our, our, our job to keep playing. So a good test. And then here comes the great conference games on top of it. So. Uh, like the opportunity challenge, like the way we practice, we're still working, and we're enjoying the work of it. Coach, Wake Forest, uh, unbeaten like yourself, coming in with that 3-0 and record, statistically very successful through those three games, but particularly looking at the, the pass rush with their ability to get to the quarterback through these three games, how much is that emphasized specifically with what your offensive line has done this week? <laughs> well, not just because as good as they are, but we haven't been very good at it. And historically, we've tried to emphasize being good at that, and, and we have in years past. So we've started off where we're not as good as we need to be. And so that was an emphasis immediately after, before the last game and after the last game, in regards to the opponent and as we continue to play the defenses of our league. So we're going to have to take care of the quarterback. You got, there's certain things that are always fundamental in the game, and that's critical. Our ability to get after the quarterback, our ability to protect the opponents are thinking the same thing. So they do a great job of the rush. They did a great job, a great win over Duke. We saw Duke last year. We know the job Coach Cutcliffe has done. Historically, you look at Coach Clawson's team, they've always gotten better and better. It's a great program. He and his staff do a great job. They're playing good. But we're going to have to play our best game today to have the result we want. Any extra, to just to add in with the final non-conference game, as you mentioned earlier, just just with that nine-game Big Ten stretch to, to close out non-conference and just continue with two victories beforehand, but to, to keep it going and make three, you know, any extra emphasis just to get to that point? Well, I mean, the real deal is it's the next one. You want to go one, one and out. Now, you just look, look, look at our team. We want to make this venue awesome. And we've had great – you just – I mean, our last – I think in the last 16 games now we're nine and seven. We've got two overtime losses, last play loss to Ohio State, last play loss to Rutgers, eight-point loss to Iowa. So you've got, you know, 14 of the 16 games you're winning or playing great football. We're getting ready to play six great home games. And you want the team to play well. You want the coaches to coach well. You want to get the fan engagement because a lot of these games are going to go down the stretch. Just Wake Forest game, we're going to have to play well. We're going to have to play four quarters. We had two last year. And after that, here comes – one of the premier teams in the conference. And then here comes more premier teams in the conference. So our deal is it's the next opportunity. The team's made strides. It's going to be a great challenge. And we want the challenge to be embraced by everyone. Our coaches, our players, the band, the fan, the chillers. We want great energy each and every Saturday and keep taking this program to the next level. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.